next thing I want to do is, I've got all these eight foot studs, I've got random lengths here, and I need to turn those into pre-cut lumber so that we'll be able to work with them. So before I start that is, I start another thing first. That's what I call my story pole. Does anybody, you guys use story poles for wall framing? I do. You want to see why? I'll show you why. Let's come up with a pre-cut stud height and let's make it weird. Wow, 89 and an eight, those, that's really gonna, it's an old house. All right, not something I'd run across every day, but I'm gonna show you how the system works. Take your tape measure and you're gonna come to Jed's 89 and a half inches. What that will be, that's gonna be my pre-cut stud height. So I mark my 89 and a half, and what this is, is my, I call that my pre-cut. So these are my custom pre-cut stud heights right here. Now, that's gonna be the top of the stud. Now, what goes next to the stud when you put in a window or a door? Well, your jack stud or your cripple stud? What's our typical height for that? What do you usually frame that at? Let's go 81 and a half, all right? So I'm gonna to come to 81 and a half, and I'm gonna make that at 81 and a half. This'll be my jack right here. Well, that, the jack signifies the top of your header. Our header needs to sit in here. Let's see if we have room for that header. I may, have, I may run into a little trouble with your, I got seven and a quarter. Wow. I just made it, Jed. I'm at, eight, I have a little bit less than eight inches. I have seven and seven eighths, so that's okay. So I'm gonna make another mark here. And this is my header. So here's my header underneath your top plate, I have that header marked out, the exact height of that, but that only leaves me about three quarters of an inch. Well, how am I gonna deal with this? Plywood. So I could get a piece of three quarter inch plywood, and then when I fabricate my header, I know right off of the bat, I'm gonna need to put a three quarter inch piece of plywood on top of this to make up this difference. Here's the top of my jack stud. Measured down the RO of the window, in this case, I have three foot and one half inch. So I'll mark down three foot and one half inch. And this is a W7 size window. What's this mark? Top of my sill plate. You wanna do a double sill or a single sill? You wanna do a double? Okay, no problem. What I'll do is I'll take and measure down how much for a double? three inches, but I'll measure down the three inches, and you can either do that with your speed square, pick up that three inch mark, and then I'm gonna put a mark also for each one. So there's my sill. That's the sill of the window. We'll mark this as the sill. What's this? Distance from here to here. These are the cripples that go underneath the window to hold it up. I've got my whole cut package right here. Everything I need is on my story pole because when I stand it up, this is everything right here. So all my measurements are now on my story pole. And I'm gonna take my story pole and I'm gonna translate it to my lumber which is out in the yard right now. 